I thought the guys were much better prepared uh, this time uh, than the last time. Obviously, the score isn't, you know, much different. But, uh, you know, we talked about, you know, playing strong, uh, playing tough. Uh, we talked about not playing tentative. Uh, I, I didn't think we were – I thought we, we, you know, battled them. Uh, I thought we, we were pretty good, very well prepared defensively. Took them out of a lot of stuff. Um, you know, and then we talked about playing with courage. And I, 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 they kept battling and battling. And, you know, it's pretty simple. You're, you go 0 for 19 from three before you hit one. Um, I thought we had some of the most open shots we've had maybe all year. And uh, we just did not – we couldn't make them. And, um, and then the, the points off turnovers, obviously, 18 turnovers. Uh, you know, and they're they're good defensively, but they had 16 turnovers. I thought our, our we did a great job staying in front of them, keep them out of paint. Uh, much better job knowing what they were trying to get. Uh, obviously, they're going to get something, but you get hold them to 26, and and that's with a bonus point at the end. And uh, you get uh, you know you're on track to hold them in the low 50s, and they only get 59, and they got some of those down the stretch. But it's 30-26. And they made a couple of big plays, um, got it to eight, got it to 10. We cut it back, I think, to nine or um, maybe 11. I'm not sure. But then uh, we just had some bad possessions. I think we, you know, we just kind of lost our poise at that point. So, um, you know, disappointing for the guys. I know how much it meant, meant for them. I thought, like I said, I thought we were ready to, more ready to play. We battled them, defended them. Uh, but... You know, we get 12 offensive rebounds, and we only get six, eight second chance points. So it's just those are the plays; those are the difference makers in the in in the game. Thank you, Coach. Uh, questions for Coach? First question to Kellis Robinette. It's a hard question for a coach to answer because you're not out there shooting. But why do you think the shooting was uh, was so off tonight? You know, I, I I don't know, and and we haven't been good shooting all year. You watch us, um, but we've been better than that. And obviously, Nigel's been pretty good. You know, I think when I talk on one end of the court, you're asking them to be intense, uh, ready. You know, just you know, playing on their on their toes. And and I thought we did a lot of good things on that end. And on the other end, you have to be you have to be relaxed, you have to be confident, and you have you know shoot the and have poise. And I I think the uh, maybe the adrenaline uh, one it's so bad um, you got to you got to somehow you got to take that that relaxation, and and that that makes a big difference in the game. Um, in hindsight, is there anything you could have done to work the ball a little bit more inside when the shots weren't falling? Well, I think they were taking away the inside, and that's why they, you know, I guess maybe they were giving us. We we did a couple different looks, some things that we thought might work. I thought we made good skip passes. I thought we made good reads. I did like, you know, obviously Day's one. Got to give him a lot of credit. I didn't even know if he'd play today, to be honest. And he, I probably overdid it with him. I, I hope he's okay. We're gonna have to probably rest a little bit tomorrow. But what Day's one did off of. He, he drove on the closeouts. Our other guys settled probably for the threes, um, you know, uh, and that, that might be, that was probably, I wish some other guys would have been a little more patient, possibly gotten the paint. But every time we kept getting in there and making the right passes, you know, then you end up with a wide open shot. Um, and we just, we didn't make them. We just didn't flat out make them. Thanks, Bruce. Next question for Coach. Uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach. Um, how do you get a young team to break this habit? I mean, they were one of 22 until those last two went in, and they shot 44% from inside the arc. I mean, it would seem clear where they need to be shooting the ball. Uh, you know, and some of it, again, the one thing, you know, I said in the other day, Kansas is good defensively and, and they got some mature guys. They read stuff. They're very, very good on scouting report. Uh, they know your sets. They, you know, uh, Garrett, obviously one of the better defenders in the country. Obagi's very good. Christian Braun's really, really smart. Um, you know, we, 
uh, you know, you, you, so now you got to take what they give you. And obviously, um, you know, you, you, if you penetrate and, and pick, kick and somebody's open, they, you know, you got you can't, we always say there's no better open than open. And there was, you know, a couple possessions. I thought as the game went on, maybe we turned some down. Now we went inside and then we ended up forcing a turnover. So uh, just get in the gym, get a smile on their face. Uh, hope, that because um, threes really haven't been quite as much a problem shooting as many as we did early in the year. Uh, but obviously today, uh, when you start the game over 19, um, you know, that's, that's, uh, it's, it makes a big difference. Thanks coach. Uh, next question to CJ Moore. Hey Bruce, J just curious uh, what you think of their their ball screen coverage and and how they've they've been able to improve that through the year. Well, they're different, and, and everybody our league that's what makes our league so unique and and so tough to deal with, especially with young teams because every game's a little different how people guard things. I thought we took advantage of it today. To be honest, we just we just didn't make the shots, and you know we did some more horns looks some movement into some ball screens uh, that, you know, but they, they force you to make the next pass. And, and I thought we, our guys, our coaches did a good job showing them video. I thought our kids recognized it. Um, you know, we, at times we made the right play. I thought we skipped, Dejuan drove. And then other times we had open shots. We didn't, I thought we missed um, the high lows a few times. So, but you know they're they're good defensively, and and they you know when they we didn't we didn't let them ice stuff like they normally a couple times late they did, but when they got it on the side, but we tried to keep it in the middle and try to take advantage of it. But obviously we didn't do enough to to make a difference. Next question, Michael Rollins. Yeah, Bruce, what, what kind of buttons do you continue to try to push to get uh, the maximum out of your team? I mean, I, you know, are you saying they played hard? Is that what you're saying? I guess I just want to make sure I know your question. No, to get, uh, I'm not making any accusations they didn't play hard. I'm just talking about uh, getting a, a better execution out of them mainly. Um. I, I I don't know. I'll be honest. I thought they really played hard. Um, I, I thought we defended pretty well. Um, I, I I thought some of the execution was pretty good. We made the right reads. We just didn't make the right shots. And, you know, I think we, you know, once the game got a little bit in the double digit, then we probably lost our poise and tried to force some things. Uh, you know, and I think the guys are just trying to make a play. And And we've done that. I think We've done that early in the season, early in games, but I didn't think we did that as much. I, I thought Tone, as good as he's been, I thought he forced a couple things, a um, couple other guys, but everyone, they forced things. Garrett dribbled, Garrett's a senior, he dribbled off his foot two or three times and, um, you, know, threw, you know, threw the ball out of bounds. So everyone makes mistakes against good teams. So I, I don't, I, and again, I got to watch it before I, you know, the execution, but we did, we did some good things. We, you know, we, we just didn't make shots. Um, obviously the turnovers are uh, a big difference, uh, you know, but again, they have 16, we have 18. So you got two teams that are fighting their butts off. We just needed to cut a few of those back, the casual turnovers that led to the pick sixes. And where Davion Bradford is concerned, is it, come with experience to be more of a space eater and just take up room in the lane? Yeah, our Casey and him, we've showed him on film. One, they got to get, uh, you know, Davion's got to get stronger and he's got to learn to post. I thought we did a much better job on McCormick today fighting him in the post because he does know how to post and he's learned. He's, you know, freshman year, he, you know, they didn't play him. Sophomore year, a little bit. And then this year, he's become a, a major factor and is, is improved as anybody in the league. So I thought we did a good job, but he, he realizes where the ball's coming from and he, and he's got the strength now and the knowledge of how to get it. And they'd look for him. 
Avion seems to be always a step behind posting up. Casey, Casey overdoes it. We did miss them a couple times. I, I thought we missed a couple. Uh, and one of the things, you know, to Kansas's credit, they're, they are pretty good post feeders and they got pretty good size and they're able to throw it over your, your defend defenders. But we were much better than, than the first game against them as far as that goes. Thank you, Bruce. Next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, Dejuan came off the bench, played almost 28 minutes. Was that the plan, or was it more that he was just the one guy who was really producing a lot, so you kind of felt like you had to keep him out there? I didn't realize he played that many. Um, obviously, he had some success, at least getting to the hoop, making some plays. Um, he did ask out in the second half, and uh, we probably overdid it a little bit uh, with him, but he was playing well. And I told him today, I, I just I, I called him in the morning. I just said, how do you feel? I called Luke Saber and asked him what he thought. I just said, days one, we'll see how the game goes. And, uh, you know, I said, you got to be patient with yourself. You have practiced two days out of the last 17 and you had a traumatic injury. So, you know, to his credit, he came back. and uh, But it, 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 it definitely was um, – he needed a break. We probably overdid it. Uh, I hope I hope I didn't overdo it. We don't have him on Saturday. How how good of a performance was that though, Bruce? Because I mean, he said he's nowhere close to 100 percent right now, and to, to come off the bench and play as well as he did, I think, is pretty. I mean, again, be the only only guy in double digits for you guys scoring is pretty, pretty yeah. impressive. It's uh, really good. They, you know, again, maybe not maybe a little more relaxed, not knowing how he's going to play or not, and then he made the right reads. Um, you got to give him credit. I'm, I'm happy for him. He had some success. Obviously, I would have liked him to make a couple threes, a couple other guys make some open threes. Uh, but, um, you know, happy days one was able to come back and give us a nice spark off the bench. And then last thing for me, Bruce, it was something that I asked Dave on about, you know, obviously when you get behind, the tendency I think is to, to want to shoot threes, try to make up the ground quicker. But how did you kind of tell the guys to balance that between taking what the defense gives you versus also, you know, maybe guys were just not making threes, try to maybe dribble in some more? Well, like I said, I thought they really, and I'll have to watch it, but I thought they really packed it in. They were giving us the open shot. And then if you turn that down, now, you know, now you end up, turning it over or, or making a bad play. So, um, you know, we've talked with Antonio about shooting 15, 17 footers yesterday in practice. Uh, he probably made six, seven in a row. And, you know, today, he, you know, it would have been nice to get a couple other ones. Uh, he's been really good for us. Um, you know, not quite as good today. And, and you know, there, there, was, there was that back-to-back. -back. Antonio had a 17 footer wide open and we ran a similar play Antonio swung at the day's one and there was no one. I might've been the closest one to him and he missed that three. And, uh, you know, I guess, is that good defense or us just not making shots? I guess, I don't know, but, um, you know, hopefully we can be a little more patient, get a little more stuff to the hoop. I think that's where day's one had success. Maybe the other guys got to, got to do that, but they did. They really keyed in on Nigel, um, Made it tough on them. They got good size. Uh, they got good defenders, and and they they made it tough on them. Thank you, Bruce. Next question to Kellis Robinette. Uh, hey, Bruce. Looking ahead, is the expectation that you guys will be able to get down to Fort Worth and play TCUS scheduled? Yeah, we contacted them today. They canceled their game tomorrow night. Already with Texas Tech, uh, my daughter lives down there. Uh, you know, I don't think all well, the roads, they had snow again today, and obviously they don't have equipment. But it's been more the power, uh, the water breaks. Uh, we, we're on our third hotel um, because of, you can look online, they've had water breaks and flooding um, in a couple, two or three of the hotels downtown Fort Worth. Uh, I think we finally found one. But they told us as of noon today, that they anticipated that they would be ready for us to play on Saturday. 